Hey y'all, it's Tracy here. Um, so I'm sitting at the end of my road because my husband is sleeping for work and he's not going to be up for like another 20 minutes to a half an hour. But I decided to go hit up some yard sales. Like COVID's going on or coronavirus or whatever y'all want to call it. But there was like a ton of yard sales going on today. Unfortunately, I had to go by myself, which kind of sucked, but whatever. Um, so I think I got some steals today. And then I also hit up the Dollar Tree and got some pretty good deals there. So I went to like six yard sales and spent a whole $6 on these goodies right here. And I'll, I'll show them to you. So the first one I went to was probably like 15, 20 minutes away from my home. So I was kind of hesitant because, well, that's a little bit of a drive for an estate sale, excuse me, not knowing if I'm going to find any goodies or not. Unfortunately, I did miss out on one thing because this lady pulled up and snagged this, this really awesome looking frame before I got a chance to even get to it. So anyways, at that estate sale, sorry, it's kind of a hot mess right here. Um, I got this right here. And uh, my friend Debbie told me what it was called. I can't remember, but it's basically, you know, they punch out the confetti and this is the leftovers. You can buy it this way. So I got this one and it's kind of a gold. I think my light is on on my camera. So there's that. Um, and then I wasn't sure on this, but I decided to get it. And it's some lace. It's a big old spool. I don't know that it's all there, um, but I got that. And then let's see, what else did I get there? I got... Um, these two embroidery rings, because I have a friend that's been looking for embroidery rings. I got those two, and I got one other one there. Mm. One of these ones. Sorry about this mess. I literally just threw it on my seat. So I got this one, okay? And I'll untangle that in a second. And then the last thing I got there was this box right here of coin envelopes. And you can see it's pretty pretty stacked, which I use for like junk journals, you know, for pockets and whatnot. So for all of those items, $1, $1. I was like, heck yes. Okay. So then the second yard sale that I went to was these other two embroidery hoops that are nice and tangled up. That one there. <laughs> and this bad boy right there. I can't like it. Can't even get it in the picture. Um, this string of beads, which I plan on taking off of there, and, um, that, okay, we'll go with that in a second. Sorry about this. I'm in my Jeep. Um, this big old pack of jumbo playing cards, and all of these pens, and they're double tipped. You can see that. They're, they're Ranger pens. There's some recollections. And then I think, yeah, there's some Marvy ones. But anyways, so those two embroidery hoops, a string of beads, those pens. Yeah, at that yard sale, $2. $2. I'm scoring, ladies, gentlemen, if there are any of you out there. Um, I can't even untangle this. Okay, here we go. This I picked up at our Salvation Army thrift shop. I don't normally go in there because they only take cash, and a lot of times I don't have cash on me. Today I did. I paid a whole 50 cents for that. Okay. And then my last two yard sales that I went to, I found two different Scrabble games. Um, because you all know, or most of you do, you, the Scrabble tiles are ridiculously expensive at thrift shops if you're just getting the tiles or whatnot. Um, so this one was like buried under a bunch of stuffies and it is packed full of the tiles and the little, um, you know, the holder thingies anyways. And, um, the guy, oh, that's cool. I've never even seen that before. Um, but the guy was like, oh, I don't know. So guess what? Paid a dollar for that one. And then, unfortunately, this one here, like, I probably could have talked them down because they were only open until 1 o'clock and I showed up at, like, quarter to 1. Um, and they, I don't know if this is, like, what they paid for it at another yard sale or whatever, but it said $2 and they had two little girls. Not little girls, I'd say preteens, whatever. They were out there because mom was in the house. 
And so I got another Scrabble game and I paid $2 for that one. So all that goodness that I just showed you for $6. So I didn't think that was too bad, right? And then let's see if I can get to them. It's kind of hard to get to them because I'm like literally sitting in my front seat in my Jeep. Um, I went to the Dollar Tree because they have lots of good crappy goodness there. But this year I decided I'm going to try and do a Christmas village. And so I've been picking up houses here and there at um, thrift stops and thrift stops. I guess you call them stops, shops, whatever. But anyways, um, I went to Michael's earlier today and they had their their Christmas village out. And you know, those things are freaking ridiculous. But I found some of these. Um, I think I grabbed like three of those. Um, I got some kids throwing snowballs. And I kind of just, the guy was too busy worrying about the crackhead outside. Sorry, true. But um, I got Santa Claus and a snowman. And, and this uh, Mrs. Claus has her uh, cookie sheet with cookies on it. And then I grabbed some carolers with a, uh, a well. And let's see. And then... So, and I grabbed three of these. I don't know if I showed this to you or not, but there was only three of these left. I grabbed all three of them. And then I got four of these. So, I mean, and then I got some other stuff that you really don't need to know about. But anyways, um, $20 for all of that stuff and some chips and whatnot. But anyways, ladies, gents, if you're out there, I just wanted to say hey and show you my hauls for the day. And I'm hoping to... Um, do a video of a bunch of the crafty things I've been doing lately. I did set up a Facebook page. I don't really know what the heck I'm doing to try and sell some of my crafty goodness. And I'm still fighting with Etsy. I'm having issues with that. So um, thanks for stopping by, liking, subscribing, commenting. Any tips are very helpful. And you all have a fabulous day.